All right, team, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to take a, a tenant support and run one in Zoom all in under 60 seconds. Are you ready? And be sure to stick around because after I show you how to run an attendance report, I'll let you know what kind of Zoom account you need and the settings you need to set it up to make sure you get a nice, beautiful attendance report. My name's Dustin Backey and welcome to the High Impact Teaching Lab. Okay, ready, set, go. All right, here in my new browser, I am going to go to my school's website, and this will work whether you're in a business or a school. I'm gonna go to my portal. I've gotta log in, all this wasted time, right? But luckily, I have a nice password system that helps me get in fast. We've already done our two-step, and there is Zoom right there, so I'm gonna click into Zoom. Here's my profile, and over here on the left-hand side of the main Zoom web settings, I'm going to click over here to Reports. And under Reports, I am actually going to go to Usage. You might be surprised, you would think Meetings, but Usage. And, oh hey, look, I had a class earlier today, so I'm going to click on the number right here. And I'm going to click Show Unique Users, that way in case anyone logged out and logged back in, I'm going to export and open it up, and I have an attendance report. Whoo! Under a minute! If you found that helpful or even marginally entertaining, go ahead, like that video, subscribe to the channel for more tips like this, and I'd love it if you shared it with someone who's still taking attendance the old fashioned Bueller, Bueller way that we're in Zoom. There's no reason to do that. Okay, so I'm here back in the main profile page of my Zoom settings on a web browser, and the first thing that you need to know is that the ability to run attendance reports is not available on the free Zoom version. You need some sort of paid account. This could be the $15 a month pro account, or it could be an enterprise or an educational type um, license that may have been assigned to you as being a part of a company or a school. So I want to go through and show you some of the settings that you're going to want to make sure you have set up before your meetings to get a nice clean attendance report like I just showed you. So what you're going to do, go to settings and there's one important thing that you're looking for here and that is only authenticated users can join meetings. I encourage you to do this whether or not you're really looking to run attendance reports. This just makes sure that no random people can join your Zoom meeting. That means they have to be logged into a Zoom account in order to join. It, it's just a little bit of a layer of protection. What this does is it takes that email that they're signed in with and puts it into that attendance report. So my authentication option that I choose is just sign into Zoom, which is the default one. And it just makes sure they're signed into a Zoom account that is set up and verified. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Pretty darn easy. If you are a digital course creator, whether you are a solopreneur who is getting out their own courses, or an established company who wants to do some trainings for their employees, or even a teacher in elementary, middle, or high school, or even a professor in higher ed, be sure to check out this channel. Down in the description below, I have a link to a private Facebook group. We talk everything in terms of effective, accessible, and inclusive digital courses here at the Hit Lab. I really hope that you will join us for more as we go forward. And I've got a couple of videos on the screen that I think you're gonna enjoy.